hello guys welcome to crack fluid today in this video i'll be sharing a simple and very effective trick to help you extend the battery life of your phone by underclocking cpu and gpu the cpu and gpu are the two main components of your phone that consumes must power the cpu is like the brain of your phone working hard to power all the apps and features you use the gpu on the other hand is responsible for rendering graphics and images on your screen both of these components are essential for your phone's performance but they can drain your battery pretty quickly the good news is that you can underclock cpu and gpu to reduce their power consumption which can significantly extend your phone's battery life and just a quick note underclocking your cpu and gpu is not a magic solution that will give your phone an infinite battery life however it can definitely help you get a few more hours of battery life out of your phone depending on your uses and the setting you choose so now let's start underclocking cpu and gpu of your phone so as you can see i have installed evolution x custom rom on my phone which has quick silver kernel used by default and for this video i am going to use franco kernel manager app to do underclock process but you can use other applications like x kernel manager etc the process will be same on other apps but you may find different interface on different applications so as you can download this franco kernel manager app from the play store and while it is paid app the price is very affordable and cheap and another important thing you need to do is to root your phone as this app will require root permission to do underclocking and if you want to root your phone then check my video on the description section so first of all open the app and allow the necessary permissions including super as you to grant root access then you will see this kind of interface so to underclock CPU simply tap on CPU section then you will find two important sections little cluster and big cluster and from here you can change the value of maximum and minimum cpu frequency level and i'll suggest you to note down the default values before doing any changes and as you can see my default maximum and minimum cpu frequency on both little and big cluster as well as you can see the similar frequencies on this cpu z application my device name is Redmi Note 8 and it has total 8 CPU cores in it and you can see their current values of frequency on the screen. So now we'll go back to our app and change the frequency level. As for the best settings for underclocking, it really depends on your phone's hardware and your user's patterns. Generally a good starting point is to underclock your CPU to around 75% of its maximum CPU frequency and your GPU to around 50% of its maximum clock speed and from there you can adjust the settings up or down based on your needs and preferences and just be careful not to set them too low as it can affect the performance of your phone so my maximum frequency is 1804 and 75% of 1804 is around 1300 so I'll choose this 1305 megahertz and below you will find cpu governor option simply tap on it and select power save and this will lock cpu frequency to minimum level and similarly we need to do same changes on big cluster section as well tap on maximum cpu frequency and for me the maximum frequency is 2016 and 75 percent of 2016 is around 1500 so i'll select 1536 megahertz and then tap on cpu governor and select performance option and along with every options there is an icon to enable setup on boot option and basically this option allow you to apply your selected settings automatically every time your phone boots up this means that you won't have to manually apply the settings every time you restart or turn on your phone and when you enable this setup on boot the app will create a script that will run the selected settings during the boot process and this script will be saved on your phone's system partition this means that you won't have to manually apply the settings every time you restart or turn on your phone and when you enable this setup on boot the app will create a script that will run the selected settings during the boot process 
and this script will be saved on your phone system partition which means that it will not be affected by app updates or changes to your phone setting and for now i'll not enable this option now go back to underclock gpu performance as well so simply tap on gpu section at first you will find gpu governor option tap on it and select power save option and after this gpu governor tap on maximum gpu frequency option here my maximum gpu is 950 megahertz and 50 percent of 950 will be around 400 so i'll select 465 megahertz then at last you will find gpu boost option tap on it and select low and if you want to enable set on boot option you can enable that too so in this way you can underclock your phone's cpu and gpu to extend battery life just remember that underclocking will reduce your phone's performance so it's important to find the right balance for your needs and if you notice your phone is running too slow you can increase the cpu and gpu frequency values to improve performance alternatively if you don't see any changes in performance or battery life you can decrease the values further and as i have changed the values and you can see the decrease in frequency on cpu z app as well and you can also see the graph on cpu throttling app now it has maximum cpu clock of 1.53 gigahertz and before it was up to 2 gigahertz and you can also see the before and after cpu throttling test on the screen so thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and please subscribe to crack so it also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye